impactful for some Bay Area residents at a St. Pete mobile home park. This is a concern that we have been following for close to three years now. As residents tell us, not much has really changed over the course of those years. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez shows us what they're dealing with tonight. When it rains and it's high tide, there is no getting out of here, carefully anyway. Erin Roth has been a resident of her community, now named Twin City Mobile Home Park, for more than a decade. At this point, it just, 13 years later, it gets my anxiety. I'm used to it, I don't like it, but my anxiety gets through the roof. I have a child. Roth sent us these images from Friday night. You can see the entire street is flooded, the water coming up car tires. Cars have been ruined. You know, water's been inside certain people's houses. She says the neighborhood is in a low-lying area with poor drainage. What does it take to be a, a flood of concern for you guys? 20 minutes heavy rain and high tide, and it's probably shin high at that point. We previously contacted the Pinellas County Health Department about trash Roth says was piling up on property after it floods. But lately they've been cleaning that up. Okay, so the trash has gotten better since last time we, you yes. spoke with us? Okay. But Roth tells me she reaches out to management at least once a month and is told not much else can be done. I'm not doing this to be malicious. I'm doing this to protect our community. Records show the property was purchased by Lakeshore Communities in Illinois last September. In April of this year, we reached out to a representative with the company, and in a statement they told us, the new management at Twin City Mobile Home Community is constantly working to address issues of concern that are raised by our residents. It's important to know that the intermittent flooding is a complicated engineering issue and some of the causes originate outside the community and outside our immediate control. We reached back out to the property Saturday asking what has since been done to help residents with flooding concerns, but we have not yet heard back. We will continue to search for answers as Roth tells me it doesn't take much to be left with a flooded neighborhood. This water right here. Even if it wasn't going to rain, it takes days to dry completely up. In St. Petersburg, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.